But I think that it, the world will never move away from what true craftsmanship is. Because I have yet to see a person that looks at something that is unbelievably beautifully made by someone's hands. It doesn't matter if it's in Africa, it doesn't matter if it's in Italy, and says, oh my God, that's made by a person. Mm. And I think that's the difference between people and things being made by machines. At the same time, you have to take into account all the other challenges we have in bringing that. We need to create ownership among the consumers. The tide is certainly moving in our favor as the demand for sustainable goods is growing. A new survey shows that the majority of young people in that range of different countries, such as China and UK, actually prefer sustainable brands over conventional ones. And in some markets, especially the new ones, a majority will simply stop buying products from companies who refuse to limit their carbon footprint. I think the, the fashion industry holds a big responsibility within that because we can communicate to consumers and we can actually make them change their minds. So we have to take upon ourselves, I think, that responsibility and make those changes. And I am so enlightened by the speakers today because there's already so much work being done and I think that there lies so many solutions along the way already. Technology, materials, you know, ways of measuring, ways of improving and um, Looking at the fashion show today and the winning collection by Susanne Rutzau, it, it shows that it can be equally desirable, sexy and fantastic fashion, even though it's made out of something entirely sustainable. So I think that the solutions will arise within you know, the future, but we need to join forces in doing this.